Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cause and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy Azure Information Protection client to your desktop using Configuration Manager. So if you're using the Azure Information Protection labels and policies, in order for the policies to work on your desktop, you need to deploy a client. It's called the Azure Information Protection Client. Let's go to Google and search Azure Information Protection Client. Client install. Go ahead and click on this one. There it is. So you need to go ahead and click on download. All you need is this one here, Azure Information Protection.exe. Let me see if I downloaded previously. I did. Let me delete that. Let me download the new one. Click next. All right, here it is. Let me copy this to my repository. <clears throat> I'm going to put it here. If you want to know what the um, the silent switch is for this EXE, all you have to do is just run the Azure Information Protection.exe slash question mark. It should give you the uh, the the switches. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to need the in slash install slash quiet and slash no restart. Let's go to my SCCM console here. Packages, create a new package. I'm going to call this Azure Information Protection Client. Put in the location. Click next, install program or standard programs. Let's type in. Let me copy this first. Let's go back. I'm going to type in install. going to browse to the exe so the command line I'm going to use is slash install what else slash quiet q u i e t and slash no restart I'm going to manually restart it normal whether or not users log on, that's fine. Click next. Oops, one. All right, click next. Put this 30 minutes. It's not going to take that long, but I'm just going to put 30 minutes. Next and next. So now I'm going to distribute the contents to my DP. Now I'm going to deploy it as 
available to all my computers all desktops and servers client next next I'm going to choose available that means I have to install it manually from software center next next and next available verify that is correct click next and OK now let's go to my workstations gonna log in here let's go to control panel I'm gonna force the policy Let me open up Word. Click on blank document. So as you can see, there is no lock button on the uh, ribbon. So once you install the client, the, um, the the padlock button should come up, should show up here. The big, it's it's a big icon. Let's try to install it. Go to Software Center. Not there yet. Let me force the policy again. While it's waiting for the policy, I'm going to pause the video. Oh, never mind. It just came up. There it is. I'm going to click on that and click on install. Microsoft require that you reboot your computer after the client's install. Let's see if, um, let me close Word. It's downloading the content. Oh, let's see. It's 56%. Let me, uh, I'm going to pause the video and they'll come back. All right, look like the download has been completed and it now it's, it's installing. It's only take a few minutes. It's finished. Let's go into control panel. There it is. Let's go to Word. Click on blank document. I guess I don't have to reboot the machine. Here's the, um, the icon.
personal, public, confidential. All right, that's it, folks. Um, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will cover Configuration Manager, um, Office 365, Microsoft Azure uh, Active Directory, and anything related to Office applications, deployment, and Windows, Windows 10 deployment. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.